<laughs> Welcome to another edition of Play Branson, where you get to know Branson's entertainers better. My name's Chris Meyer, one of your hosts, and I'm here with Haley Westrich uh, as well. Haley, how are yes, you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I almost had a brain lapse <laughs> right there where I almost like... I was stunned, like, okay, I forgot your name, but I really right. didn't. It was there just, you go. It's just been a while since we've done this. Yes. So okay. we're into September. We are, and we've got an amazing entertainer with us today. We've got Billy Yates from Radio in the Country Vault, one of my favorite shows in town. I know. You've been really excited about yes, this. Yes, I, I have I have not met him yet, but I'm, I mean, I was kind of looking at some of the research, man. This guy, he's done a lot of yes, stuff. Yes, very talented, that's so for sure. So people need to stay tuned and watch that. Absolutely. Uh, and it's, it's going to be great. Um, and that'll be here in just a moment. This is actually our 33, 33rd episode. Wow. 33. I love that number. That's a good number. Uh, my son used to, that was his basketball number. And then Jesus, he died when he yes. was 33, which is a huge historical event and very important event. Um, so if you've been watching our episodes, you know that we do this thing called dumb questions or things that make you go, hmm. And then we'll kind of also spice it up with a kind of a serious question. Mm -hmm. I always like to say, talk about it around the dinner table. Right. So uh, here's the questions today. Uh, if you don't like them, it's okay. We're just here to have fun. Uh, why is it called a drive through if you stop multiple times? That's true. You stop like three times. Yes. You know, <laughs> I had someone the other day tell me they were in the drive through for 30 minutes. Oh, my goodness. I'm like, I wouldn't have stayed that long. No, that's crazy. So that's kind of crazy. Um, if all the world's a stage, where does the audience sit? That's true. <laughs> Nowhere to sit? I don't know. Okay. Um, this is kind of an interesting one. If you write a book about failure and it doesn't sell, is it called success? <laughs> or is it or is it still a failure? Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah. I guess it would be failure. Typically, you don't see books about failure. Though. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> the guys in the studio are liking this. I'm, gl I'm like, I like that. Um, why does someone believe you when you say there are 4 billion stars, but check you when you say the paint is wet? That's good. Like, <laughs> is it really wet? Let's touch <laughs> it. Let's touch it. Okay, here is the serious question. Okay. Would you be willing to reduce your life expectancy by 10 years to become extremely attractive or famous? Ooh, that's good. I don't think so, because that's less time that you'd have with your family and friends. I don't think yeah. it'd be worth it. Now, what if you were like going to live to 110, and then mm. now you're just living to 100? That's a good question. Would it be worth it then? Maybe. Um, attractive, or I, I'd probably say no. Mm, yeah. Because, yeah, yeah I, I would probably say no. Okay, this last week, well, actually, just the other day, a uh, big announcement happened in Branson uh, at Silver Dollar City, and they announced a new roller coaster called Time Traveler. And so we are, we are just pumped about it. We just want to give a shout out to those folks at Silver Dollar City and let, y let the audience know about it. It is going to be huge and massive. It's the largest investment they've ever made. $26 million roller coaster. It's insane. That's crazy. And it is the fastest, steepest, and tallest complete circuit spinning coaster in the world and the 90 foot straight down drop yes 90 degrees yes 90 degrees yeah. that's straight up and straight down straight down and uh, and so you and i were out there we looked mm -hmm. at it and uh yeah. you you were kind of scared just to put on the virtual reality yeah. to s ride it virtually i did it though but i don't think i'm gonna ride the actual ride so yeah. <laughs> she's not gonna i'm gonna ride the ride and it will be here in spring of uh 2018 and it ha it has three inversions it has a dive loop a vertical loop a zero g roll it's got a 90 foot tall loop it has a double launch uh so if all goes as planned you're going to see a video of it here in just a moment and uh be sure to come to branson and check it out it's going to be super awesome so we'll be back in just a moment with more play branson <laughs>
Welcome to Silver Dollar City Spring 2018 Time Traveler. Welcome back to Play Branson. We're here with Billy Yates, who is with Raiding the Country Vault. Welcome. It's good hey, to have you. It's good to be here. So good to be here. Um, I'm excited to have you here today. And, well, I'm excited to be here. Um, you know, you are a newer entertainer in Branson. Yeah, we just got here. Uh, we started our first season last year over at the Mansion Theater, and then uh, we're, we're now at the Starlight Theater uh, with our second uh, second season, and just having a ball. I have to say, I love Branson. You know, I uh, that's good. Yeah, I do, and because uh, I grew up in Southeast Missouri, uh, so I'm a Missouri boy uh, from way back. And uh, uh, but I moved to Nashville back uh, about 30 years ago. And uh, so coming back to Branson is like coming home, you know. And so have so many friends. Here. A lot of guys I played music with at Southeast Missouri are uh, doing working some of the shows here. So I've got a lot mm -hmm. of friends, and uh, have made a lot of new friends, and uh, just love it. But you, you you have a you have a pretty long history in country music, and so can can you tell people kind of about your career and yeah. how you got started? And yeah, I mean, it's taken you. I've been very blessed, you know. As, as I said, I moved to Nashville 30 years ago. Uh, you know, I had had a dream to to be a, a, a singer and to be a, a big star one day, you know, <laughs> as so many people do. And I found out how hard that is to, to achieve. Mm -hmm. But, you know, at the same time, a lot of great things happened. I, I moved there, as I said, to be a singer. But the songwriting thing kind of started happening for me around 92 uh, was when it all kind of started. And, and uh, you know, one of my heroes, I always loved all the old singers, you know, and I grew up listening to all the music of the 60s and all the great country music of, of that time. And so... Uh, one of my heroes um, decided to record a song of mine, and uh, that was George Jones. Yes. And it was my very first song ever recorded. It was I Don't Need Your Rockin' Chair. You might remember That's that. That's a very popular and, song. Um, That's amazing. Uh, that song won a lot of awards. It was, you know, CMA Vocal Event of the Year. and it, 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 But it opened a lot of doors for me, it, and it created uh, kind of a, a, a new confidence that, I'm, that I might mm -hmm. not have had before that because, you know, until, you, until something happens, you know, really happens, uh, you just you're kind of a wannabe and then when it happens then you that you've, you've kind of moved on to that new that next chapter and so you know uh it just uh the songwriting thing kind of started taking off and so it was very fortunate I had a lot of songs recorded by everybody george Strait, kenny chesney sarah evans uh gary allen uh ricky van shelton um oak ridge boys on and on i mean you just have to i uh, don't even know the people yeah. that didn't record my songs were. No. <laughs> <laughs> now, speaking of writing songs, you've also written some for commercials and things like that. Is that correct? Yeah. You know, uh, that was also kind of in the early 90s and in, uh, into the mid 90s. I had uh, uh, the, 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 it just got very lucky and was uh, at, at the publishing company one day and, and the guy came down the hall and said, I need a, I need a jingle for, for Ford trucks or for Chevy trucks. And so I didn't know how to write a jingle. I had never really thought about that. And uh, we just learned how to write songs really at the time. And so, but I came up with this thing, and it was just kind of a demo that they sent, and, and they, you know, and so it got chosen. So that was the first one, it was a Chevy truck commercial. And then, uh, of course, Chevy trucks, after that, they started selling so well that Ford said, well, we need that guy <laughs> to do one for us. And so <laughs> next thing you know, I'm, I'm doing one for Ford. Then it moved on, I was doing Kellogg's and Slick 50 and uh, Budweiser and... Uh, uh, we just did one uh, about a year ago for uh, 7-Eleven, the 7-Eleven stores. So are those are so your original music then? Where original music, some some are, and, and a lot of them are uh, both original uh, when I wrote it and sang it. So okay. I sang the Chevy truck, the Ford truck. I sang all of them, uh, okay. but, but wrote a few of those. But you've had, besides being a songwriter, haven't you had like numerous albums yourself? Is that right? Yeah, you know, uh, when I got to Nashville, of course, I ended up... Um, uh, had a, a short stint on RCA, then I went to Curb Records, and then I went to Almo Sounds, and had actually had a top. It was a I think it went to 36 or something. I'm a half hit wonder. Uh, <laughs> uh, thir 36 uh, was the, I think the peak position <laughs> on that one. It was a song called Flowers, and then uh, uh, went on to Sony. I was on Columbia Records and failed miserably at that, and then uh, went, <laughs> went on from there and started my own label. And uh, so, uh, and then started working, uh, marketing those records in Europe. And so for the last 15 years, uh, I've toured a lot in Europe. And so sort of built a career and a, and a whole business uh, in, in, of itself uh, in Europe. Yeah. And so uh, prior to coming to Branson, I was going over there several times a year and doing that and still release singles and, and do, uh, uh, you know, publicity stuff for, for different uh, outlets in, in Europe. And so... It's been great. So, okay. how did you get 
to Branson? I mean, obviously, I know you're with the show, but how did that all transpire? You know, uh, our show, uh, Rating the Country Vault, uh, is sort of uh, uh, it's the sister show of the the Rock Vault show, Rating the Rock Vault, which is based in Vegas, of course. And it's the top-rated rock show in Vegas. And so uh, they decided, Sir Harry Cowell decided that uh, it was time to do a country show. And so Michael Peterson, my good buddy, uh, was living out in Vegas, still has his home there. Uh, he called me up. He had, he had connected with Sir Harry, and, and they decided to uh, put together a country show here. And so Michael uh, was called upon to sort of... Uh, help make those decisions because he knew country music gotcha. so well uh, having been in the business for so long and so I got the call from Michael and uh, I was actually still in the middle of doing a lot of touring in Europe and so he called and asked me told me about what it was and and I uh, I said no I don't want to go to Branson <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine living in Nashville I have a little farm north of town and I'm you know and my family's here and and my boys only got you know to, at that point, I had three more years of school left. It's like, I don't want to go off and leave him and my, my wife and, and uh, spend that much time in Branson. And I uh, didn't want to give up what I was doing in Europe. So I told him no. And then uh, uh, I started thinking about it. I was like, well, you know, my mom and dad still live in Donovan over, you know, about 100 miles from here, southeast Missouri. And uh, it would put me closer to them. Uh, we'd have spring break. We'd have every chance we, you know, that we get, they, they, my family could come over. And uh, so that's basically what has happened. So now, you know, I decided, I called him back and I said, yeah, you know, let me throw my name in the hat and if it works out, you know, yeah. it'd be great. And so it worked out. And so got here, first time I ever, now growing up in Southeast Missouri, I had never even been to Branson. <laughs> oh my so, gosh. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Had never been. And so the first time I came here was to sign the lease on my apartment. And I remember laying in bed and crying that night. I was oh. like, what have I done? And, uh, you know, just scared because it was a, such a new thing. And, uh, but, man, it's the best thing I could have ever done. I love it here. Love the people here. Uh, I love all the other shows. Uh, there's such a, a, a great family, a great, you know, uh, a community. And, uh, and so I want to do my part to contribute to that. And I want to, uh, to make Branson a better place. As great as it is, I want to do anything That's I can awesome. to make it great. That's great. awesome. And this is a great place for us to stop. And so... Folks, we'll be back in just a minute. Keep watching to play Branson. Rating the Country Vault. Branson's newest production brings in top country music talent to take audiences on a journey through the greatest hits of country music, America's most beloved genre. This all-star cast has performed at the Grand Ole Opry, had hit songs grace the country charts, and toured with some of country music's most iconic entertainers. See the show everyone's talking about. Raiding the Country Vault in Branson, Missouri at the beautiful Starlight Theater. Welcome back to Play Branson. We're here with Billy Yates with the Raiding the Country Vault. So good to have you back. Great to be back. So, so. I've got to see the show several times and I absolutely love it. Really? So, yes, I do. One of my favorites. <laughs> so could you tell us a little bit about the show and what people can expect? You know, uh, I mean, if you love country music, real country music, uh, you're going to love the show because the show uh, is basically... Uh, 25 of the greatest, some of the greatest, most classic country songs, iconic songs of our time, uh, all rolled into this wonderful, beautiful show of, uh, there's three big video screens, high def video screens, and they tell the stories behind those songs, you know, uh, on the screens behind us as we perform those. Uh, beautiful images. Uh, also, we have a million dollar uh, laser light show. Uh, and we have smoke that comes up out of the stage. It's crazy. But, uh, you know, what I love about that, too, is, you know, because I've always waved the traditional country flag. I love sure. real country music, you know. And, and, uh, and so when I came and I saw what the show was really about, that's when I fell in love with it because, you know, we bring young people into that show, and they've never heard these songs a lot. Right. You know, they come in with their parents or grandparents or whatever, and uh, they fall in love with that music, and they get a little history on the screen, you know. And it's yeah. just... Uh, it's just a, a blast. I'm so honored to be a part of it, you know. That's great. After kicking and screaming, you know. <laughs> right. Like, well, and, and you know, Branson used to be known for its country music. And then there was kind of a little bit of a shift where, you know, we all, all of a sudden had a lot of different types of entertainment, which we right. still do. So, you know, there's not as many country music shows in Branson. Not uh, as many as I thought there would be. You know, that was a little, I was a little surprised, you know, when I came. And, uh, and it's been interesting, you know, for me to come here like that, and especially kind of growing up in Missouri, Southeast Missouri, being very aware of Branson. And I grew up, you know, knowing the Branson that was advertised on the National Network. And, you know, mm -hmm. and you had, you know, Mel and Roy and Box and all, all these people here, right. you know, doing their thing. And, and it was always, you know, about country music. 
you had the Presleys, you had Ball Knight, you had all these things that were, were you know, sort of uh, historical, you know, that was just, it just had an impact, you know, on, on the world. People knew about it. And then I came here, and I was surprised that there wasn't as much of that. But, you know, uh, I think there's something here for everybody, and you see that. There is. There and really I think, is. But I think the great thing also about our show is that, you know, I think we, we are – we want to be partially responsible. We want to do our little part to bring that back, to bring country music back. Because, you know, after 30 years in Nashville, I was telling someone the other day, I said, you know, well, what's, what's, Nashville, uh, what's Branson got that Nashville don't have? What could we capitalize on? I said, well, you may be surprised to hear this, but Branson has country music, you know, and, and, uh, and Nashville has country music. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's, it's, the, it's the birthplace of, of a lot of great country music, yeah. and, and it will always be that. But, you know, when you go downtown to the honky-tonks on Lower Broadway, you don't see as much of the country music as you used to. And now you come here and you can see the Presleys, you can see Country Vault. Well, but you it's, a, see, it's, you know. it, it's also a completely different atmosphere. Because I was just in Nashville. Oh, yeah. And so it wouldn't be something you'd typically take, like, your whole family to to sit down and watch a show. I mean, it's Right. It's there are those places. There are a lot of, you know, I mean, of course, you know, Nashville is very near and dear to my heart, you know. Uh, uh, but it's two different things, and Nashville's grown a lot, you know, and so it's it's, a lot of growth. it's 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 a busy place, and uh, you know what I love about Branson, and boy, I don't know how I got into that whole contrasting, you know, Branson and mm-hmm. Nashville, ah, but uh, but it, but Branson, you know, it just has a, a, a such a, a down home, uh, friendly feel uh, that I love, you know, and I just love the people, you know, and the people that come to the shows. I mean, they just um, they're there. For for the music and they're there for a good time you know and so if people want to go see your show it's at the starlight theater, starlight theater right out on highway 76 right in the center of branson which yeah. is a new location this year yeah like, going to be there in 2018 do you know yes yet? we're going to be here 20 years from now okay i okay. promise you just never know about shows in branson <laughs> where they're going to end up but uh you'll be there in 2018 and then right. what does your fall look like as far as shows this fall we have shows straight through December 6th. Okay. So we'll, we'll have shows all through you know, September, October, November, uh, uh, right into December. And then we have a, we'll have a break. Uh, we'll go back to our homes, I guess. You know. I'll probably spend a lot of time here. You know, last year during the break, uh, I came back, have a little condo down on the lake, and, I, and I'll come back and, and spend a lot of time here because I just love it, and the family loves it here. Yeah. Our, our, our time just goes so quick because I'm like, I could talk to you for like another <laughs> half an hour, but our time just goes so quick. So I just want to thank you for coming on the show today. Well, and thank uh, you. we're, thank we're you. glad to have you. And so folks, be sure to go see Raiding the Country Vault out at the Starlight Theater. So we'll be back in just a moment. There are so many things to do in Branson. You need help planning and booking all your fun. You need iBranson.com. You can find everything Branson has to offer from your computer, tablet, or cell phone. You can even buy tickets online or talk to one of their friendly Branson travel specialists. There's no sales pitches, no delivery fees, no service fees, and no waiting. It's fast and easy. Find your fun at iBranson.com. Do it all online or call 877-ENTERTAIN. That's 877-368-3782. iBranson.com try something different this vacation bring the whole family to branson segway segways are the most fun on two wheels since the bicycle it's safe and fun ride at your own pace on our specially designed track you can do it i don't know if i can do this guy i don't know to get your family from ho-hum to adventure ride a segway branson segway and adventure center on highway 165 just one block south of titanic come on slow folks ride like the wind the Best Western Center Point Inn. It's Branson's top hotel in the heart of Branson's entertainment, next to the Titanic Museum. Relax in the indoor pool and hot tub. The hotel offers a variety of room types. Enjoy the free hot breakfast every day. For more information or to make reservations, call 1-877-334-1894. Welcome back to Play Branson. We're here to wrap up the show. We hope you enjoyed uh, the show today, hearing from Billy Yates. And uh, man, a great uh, country music background and history, uh, great songwriter. So be sure to go check them out over at the Starlight Theater. And if you're planning your entire Branson vacation, be sure to go to ibranson.com. You can buy all your show tickets there, attractions, hotels. You can look at the show schedules. And coming up here in Branson, we do have a Country Music Weekend coming up. 
Restless Heart's going to be in Branson on Friday night out at Silver Dollar City, followed by Diamond Rio. Uh, they're going to be there on Saturday night, and then Lone Star on Sunday night. And I just happened to see Lone Star at a uh, private event in uh, Nashville, and they did a phenomenal job. So be sure to check out that country music. Tie it in with the country music over here at the Starlight Theater, and you can have a great country music weekend. The other thing I tell people is you're thinking about coming to Brains in September is a perfect time to come. It's not too hot, not too cold. It's just right. So come on to Branson. We'd love to see you soon.